Yeah, Brandon, that's right. Last week in regular session, the court voted to table the vote for a later date because of some concerns with the funding. And that left some people here in Crawford County pretty upset with that because they didn't think that those concerns had anything to do with the handicap issue. This was funding from the American Library Association. They wanted to make sure there were no strings attached. Last week, there was concern within the quorum court about those funds. Mandy Steele, who lives in Crawford County, says Justice of the Peace Jason Peppas was behind that concern. He was worried about books that they might try to force on the Crawford County Public Library System. Um, so he made a motion that it be tabled. And believes the delay was unnecessary. They're withholding funding because of books. This isn't a book issue. This is a accessibility issue. Steele has a son with a disability and expressed her concern to the court tonight. I'm active in the community advocating for people with disabilities. Now that my son has grown, I advocated for him for 20 years. He is an adult now and he knows how to advocate for himself. So I advocate for others who can't advocate for themselves. Former librarian and ALA member Rebecca Verdon also spoke. I need to step up. I've been to the ALA conventions and make sure that people know it's not some shadowy organization or anything. It's a professional organization that advocates for libraries. Two justices were not present for the special session of the 11 that did attend all voted to approve the ordinance allowing the grant money to be used. When they wrote for the grant, they wrote that they wanted to make their doors accessible. Um, people have a hard time getting in the front doors of Alma Public Library. And I was able to speak to one of the JPs prior to the meeting, and he told me that they just had to investigate the money and the funding just to see where it was coming from, just to get all the details before they could approve it tonight. Reporting live in Alma, Jacob Murphy, 4029 News.